Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review Apple TV Plus's series, Lissy's Story, and this is from Stephen King. It's an adaptation of his own work that he did the writing for, and this is directed by Pablo Lorraine, who had previously done works like the film Jackie, which was a beautiful film. And this film, oh, it's not a film, it's a series, a limited series on Apple TV Plus, is also beautiful. It has a very striking visual palette, and Darius Kunji, who does the cinematography for it, combined with uh, Lorraine's direction, really makes a visual feast to look at, especially because there's a lot of things about this show that are very abstract and looking at things in a very different kind of way that aren't normal. And you go to this specific place quite often throughout the series where you have one particularly disturbing creation. It's just like a giant body made out of human bodies. And this show's weird. Like, this is out there in terms of Stephen King works. And you have this story where Julianne Moore plays this widow who is dealing with the death of her husband, who is a famous, famous writer, played by Clive Owen. And the whole cast in this show, they're great. And Julianne Moore does a fantastic job. There's plenty of scenes where she has to do a lot of emotional heavy lifting. One particular scene earlier on in the season that she has with Dane DeHaan, who is creepy in the show. He does his creepy thing. Still not the hugest fan of his, but she really shows pain and the suffering and really embodies it. Clive Owen does a fantastic job in this role as Scott Landon. And you see all these different sequences with flashbacks and whatever they might be. And you have some of the best unnerving and really effective moments of the show is when you see Landon's childhood as told by him to his wife. And they're disturbing, they're unnerving, they're tense and suspenseful and really nail a lot of those things. And you have... Um, Jennifer Jason Lee in the show as well, and Joan Allen. And there's a lot working acting-wise. There's a lot working from like a visual standpoint and suspense and tension. One of the biggest, the two biggest things about this show that made me not the hugest fan of it is that this is eight episodes, and boy does this take its time. It really, really slows everything down to the point where you're crawling through this story at times and after a while you're just like move this along please and you get caught in moments like that and I feel like apparently this is very true to the book which I would imagine as this teleplay was written by Stephen King I feel like some of these things could have been cut some of these things like this could have been streamlined and some of these things are a little too out there for it to really come together in a cohesive way but at least it has the actors really doing their all to bring these characters to life bring these emotional connections and they work and by the end of this series i was like this was watchable it's intriguing and creepy, and there's definitely some dark moments, but this could have used some work. Could have used a couple of looks over the screenplay before going into filming. Some of these things could have been cut and trimmed, but in the end, I feel like Lissy's story is a fine Stephen King adaptation that you could watch right now on Apple TV+. But those are my thoughts on the show. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some TV. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.